Imagine a world where people log onto the internet seeking spiritual refreshment and deep connection, and they find it. Imagine the fire of fearlessly faithful friends spreading through modern media technology and sparking a revolution of inward listening. One thing that most people know about Quakers is that we worship in silence. On Sunday morning, we all sit together for an hour of quiet, and out of that quiet, anyone can stand up and speak. But what some people might not realize is how sitting in silence for an hour can change you, and it can inspire you. You might leave that hour feeling greater clarity about the things that are most important in life. And you might come away with some greater sense of leading and spiritual courage and conviction. It can also change the way that we talk. If you've been sitting in silence for an hour, you might choose your next words a little more carefully. They'll probably have a little bit more power, maybe a little bit more divine inspiration, and they'll probably be honest. These Quaker principles of authenticity and integrity and spiritual conviction, as it turns out, they're also really good fundamentals of storytelling. And it's something that I think that the world is hungry for right now. My name is John Watts. I'm a Quaker media creator and artist, and I'm the founder of the Quaker Speak YouTube channel. I've got a big idea, and I want to tell you about it but it's not going to make sense without a little bit of context. For much of my career, I was a singer-songwriter. And as a songwriter, I was always looking for stories and musical inspiration to write songs about. As a student at Guilford College, I heard these stories about Quakers in the 17th century doing courageous and sometimes foolish things, and I had to ask myself why. What I discovered was that these obscure religious radicals in 17th century England believed in something really powerful, and something that I think continues to carry power for our world today. Early Quakers believed that the peaceable kingdom, the, the beloved community, God's kingdom on earth was available here and now, but that it's up to us to make it happen. And in order to make it happen, we have to be willing to take risks and challenge each other and challenge ourselves. So I decided to focus my songwriting on those early Quakers in hopes that telling those stories would inspire friends today. And then I took it a step further. I realized that the story is not over, and that there are courageous and spiritually convicted people all around me whose stories I want to tell. My name's Hannah Mayer. I am a, a mom and a lifelong Quaker. I think one of the ways that Quakerism needs to grow in, in the coming years is reflected in the next generation. The Quaker tradition of humility kind of coming back to bite us in the butt a little bit when we aren't willing to talk to people about what we are and what we offer, the faith shrinks, unfortunately, and I think we're experiencing that a lot right now. My hands are full. Uh, when I'm not at work and I'm at home, I usually have a toddler on my hip or in my lap who really wants my full attention. So I get to do the bare essentials on my phone and the rest, I'm mostly listening to audio podcasts in a very discreet earpiece. But I would love a podcast coming into my ear during my time in my day that helps me engage in my Quaker faith and feel connected to my Quaker faith, even though I can't make it to worship on Sunday mornings. 
In 2013, I founded a video project called Quaker Speak. And for six years, I traveled around and sat in silent worship with all different kinds of Quakers to see what they might be inspired to say. It was a powerful, life-changing experience for me. I spoke with someone who did sit-ins with Martin Luther King Jr. and was threatened at knife point by white supremacists. I spoke with a friend who felt led to blockade a coal shipment of 40,000 tons with a tiny lobster boat. I spoke with a group of Quakers who sat in silent worship in the lobby of a bank until PNC decided to reconsider its investments in mountaintop removal. And what I found was that Despite the simplicity and bare-bones nature of the project, which only had one employee and no budget to speak of, there was a lot of hunger for these stories that we were telling. My name is Anthony Christopher Smith. I am a social worker. I'm a 30-something social worker, um, lifelong New Jerseyan. I have long been a voice and an advocate for how do we make what we do relevant to the modern time? Because the world still needs peace. We still need simple living. We certainly need equality and a sense of community and living with integrity and in right stewardship with the rest of the world. These are modern messages. I spend a decent amount of time driving, but sometimes I'm also, I spend a lot of time on mass transit. And, you know, sometimes, you know, I'm often listening to podcasts. It, give, it can give ideas, it can give inspiration. Just getting through a difficult day, you know, having a message of hope, you know, having a message that there's still these values that we hold dear that are meaningful. There are people, we can see this all the time, searching and seeking for truth and meaning and a message and a collaborative and open space to share these messages in. And this is what the Quaker Project is about. It is designed to bring, you know, the message of friends, you know, our witness to a new generation to tell our story, you know, and to share the things that we think are relevant for the world in a new and current way. In the early 1900s, a group of enterprising Quakers got together and said, what does the world need from us right now? They founded several organizations that have now done a century of great work. I would say that once again we find ourselves at a crossroads in human history. Similar to the early friends and those visionary Quakers from the early 20th century. The internet has changed life as we know it. And one thing that it's made possible is telling our stories to millions of people. What happens when stories of spiritual conviction shared from a deeply inspired place catch fire and get shared around the world? What happens when we empower the next generation of spiritual seekers to sink into that clarifying silence and emerge, raising their voices with the conviction of what's possible? I'm going to find out, but I can't do it alone. First, I'd like to introduce you to the board of the Quaker Project. This is the group of dedicated friends from around the country who is building the organizational structure for this vision. Together, we're building a team of talented, passionate media creators who are going to launch a series of projects that will reach millions and bring Quakerism into the 21st century. Finally, there's you. Realizing a big vision like this takes resources. But if every person who watches this video decides to support us, we'll be more than funded. So it really is up to you. Let's build the future that we know is possible.